I got this planner from Marshalls. And on the front, it says coffee, then adulting all year long, which is actually pretty funny because I think I'm giving up coffee for my New Year's resolution. But <laughs> one of my goals is to drink a ton more water. Like I said, I'm going to try to cut out coffee because um, I just don't drink it like healthily at all. Like it has so many carbs and sugars. And so I'm going to try to cut out coffee. I'm going to try to go back to green tea that I haven't had in a really long time. Good afternoon, everybody. So today is Wednesday the 3rd and it's just a little after 1 p.m. I'm going home now because there's supposed to be a major snowstorm coming in and really high winds and my mom's kind of concerned that it will blow the power out here and she doesn't really feel like that's the safest so she'd rather me be home. So I'm gonna pack really really quickly since I won't be leaving the house since it'll be a snowstorm I don't exactly need many clothes so I'm gonna try to pack up like super quick in 10 minutes or less and get on the road so I can sit down in my room and edit the videos. Already got a coffee. Oh, I want to show you guys my picture up close. We went to one of those drink and paint places. Someone stands up on a stage with a mic and they tell you everything from what brush to use, how much of what colors to mix, where to put on the canvas, step by step, everything. This is how mine turned out. This she didn't show us, but Amanda and I thought it would be really cute if we put our astrology sign, I guess, or like zodiac constellation. So I'm a Virgo, so that's, I mean, approximately what the Virgo one looks like. I don't know. I'm really proud of myself. This one's Amanda's. She also did her astrology constellation. Where's Evans? Huh? Where's They're Evans? Both right next to each other. His is the little house looking one. This is mine. And uh, that's his. Gotcha. Okay. I wish I didn't do them next to each other, but yeah. it's too late. So I will talk to you guys once I am officially home. Hello. Repping my girl gang, you know. I am home now and I'm going to get into editing these three videos because everyone's waiting for them and I feel bad. I'm literally uploading them as as they come. I'm not gonna wait till tomorrow or anything as they come because then I'm hoping if I can upload a bunch today, I can get back on track for the next vlog on Friday. So let's hope I can do it. Everyone pray for me. So it's about 5.45. I just finished editing our chit chat, get ready with me. I edited it down from 45 minutes to about 10. So that's, that's, that was a lot. I like just finished it and I'm shiny. So I have two more to go. I'm just going to try to upload this one ASAP and keep going with the other ones and um, help me. <laughs> I don't like editing, but gotta do what you got to do, you know? Hi guys, so it's about 10.30 now. I have to be a little quiet. Is this a little late? I just finished editing and uploading two videos. I am so exhausted. I don't know if anyone watching this is like a fellow YouTuber or just edits things for other purposes, but I'm sure you know just how exhausting it can be, how tiring you get. I've been editing for six out seven. I've been editing for seven hours now. I really did need to get these two up at least, or at least one up, but I'm happy I stuck through it, even though after editing down a two hour get ready with me, I was kind of just like, there's no way, because the vlog I did upload already, it was our entire weekend, and we did a lot that weekend. So that was like two and a half hours too, and I was like, there's no way. But I pushed through it. I persevered. So this is a great girl gang teaching moment. Push through the pain, okay? It's only temporary. And it's cute seeing people commenting, saying two videos in one day or in one night is a treat for them because I sat in my bed for seven hours straight to edit these. So it's just nice when 
like those little things people appreciate them you think it doesn't mean anything to us or you may think we don't even read it or whatever but it really means a lot especially to me who just sat here for seven hours to edit it really does mean a lot to me so thank you for that i'm going to bed now and i'm just gonna relax because i personally think uh i deserve it at this point so it's 10 30 i'm gonna end it here i will pick back up tomorrow when i wake up so i will see you guys tomorrow good morning guys it's about 11 30 on friday thursday it's thursday i know nothing on thursday i didn't just wake up i've been in bed for like an hour hour and a half because i woke up with a really bad headache my neck and like my upper back hurt really badly i have to edit two videos today <laughs> i have to get one up today that was supposed to be Wednesday's vlog and I have to edit one and set it to upload 10 a.m. for tomorrow to get back on schedule. I'm also thinking about shooting a main channel video because I'm snowed in today. It's a snow day here and I'm not going anywhere all day and I'll be really bored if I don't do something or feel like I'm being productive. I will talk to you guys later. Hi guys, so it's 6.30, just ate dinner with my family. Um, I just put up Wednesday's vlog now. I am kind of exhausted, so I want to run a bath, do a face mask, watch some Netflix for a little bit, and then I'll probably end this vlog when I come out. Tomorrow, I'm thinking I'm going to try to wake up at a decent time. I'm going to take a shower and get ready, and then I'm going to try and film a 50 Facts About Me. I feel like more people were requesting an everyday makeup tutorial, which I definitely will do, but there were some people who suggested I do like 50 Random Facts About Me tag so they can get to know me better, which makes sense just because I did start this channel, like it seems like yesterday. I already typed out all 50 tags, so all I really have to do is film it. I'm hoping I will be back up at school tomorrow. We are getting more snow than anticipated, so I can't be too, too sure, but I am hoping that I will be able to go back up to school tomorrow. Me and Amanda can resume vlogs together again. So like I said, I'm just going to get in the bath right now and I will pick back up the camera after I get out. Ready? Yeah. Ready. Cleaning supplies. Uh, bleach. Mm -hmm. Windex. Um, Tylex. Um, Clorox wipes. Uh, Lysol. Uh, Mr. Clean, Magic Racer, whatever. Hi friends, so it is 10 o'clock now. I got out of the bath a little bit ago, but I ended up playing some games with my family. But we played um, the, the game called A to Z, if anyone's played that. So I just wanted to share some things with you guys that are life-changing for me. And you don't have to use them in a bath. I know some people don't even have a bath, but you can use them regardless. But I do especially love them in the bath. So first, when you are drawing a bath or it can be used as a body wash instead, they're from Bath and Body Works. It's like this aromatherapy line. So it's the stress relief one. I mean, I don't really know about relieving stress and whatnot, but it's eucalyptus and spearmint and it smells so good. It's ridiculous. And I absolutely love this. They have another one that I use that I, I left up at school. I don't remember which one that one was, but it wasn't this one. It was another one. I think it was the original stress relief one. I'm not sure. I'll have to keep you guys updated. And then, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like when you're in the bathtub, you kind of always need a face mask. And I feel like Amanda and I may have mentioned this a few times, maybe not, but it is completely life-changing. It is the Freeman's Feel Beautiful Apple Cider Cleanser. 
and it won an Allure Best of Beauty in 2016, and no wonder why. It's a cl it's a clay mask. It doesn't really dry down that that much, but it's a clay mask. But it also has like a scrub in it. So what I'll do is I will put it all over my face, and then you let it sit for no longer than 10 minutes. And then it recommends three to five. I leave it on for a 10, but I don't go past the 10 because it does dry out your skin after that. If you already have really dry skin, I would recommend not putting it on longer than maybe five, but I still would recommend using it. And I put it on my skin and then after 10, I'll get like a little bit of water in my hands and I'll do the scrub and I'll really scrub that in and then I'll wash it off. And I know my skin's red, especially on my nose now. That's just because after I use this, my pores were so open that I kind of may have popped some blackheads and went to town on my face. But it says, instantly tones, purifies, and mattifies for a flawless complexion. So, I know some people have been messaging me about their oily skin, and I know... It's mainly been makeup based, like what makeup should I get? Can you do like a makeup routine for oily skin? But the best thing to even start off with before makeup is what you should wash your face with or the mask you, masks you should use. So this definitely is a mattifying one if you leave it from five to 10 minutes. If it's just from like three to five, then you're good no matter what kind of skin. But if you leave this on for 10 minutes, let me tell you, it's been a game changer. And it says you can use it daily as a cleanser and a scrub. I mean, I wouldn't typically because like I said, it really does remove the oil. I use this maybe once a week, maybe once every two weeks because it really does work. It has not only shown a difference in mattifying my skin, but I have little bumps, not everywhere, but you know those little pimples that are just kind of like bumps and you can't pop them. I have those on my skin. I don't ever get actual pimples. I just get little bumps like those little kind of bumps and you can't pop them so they kind of stay there for a while this gets rid of them i it must just be like bumps of oil or gunk or something because this just ugh, gets rid of it you really have to get it and i don't even mind recommending this to you because it's like three dollars at walmart or at ulta i i got mine at ulta but i think i have seen it on the Walmart website. I don't know if I've looked for it in store, but I've seen it on the website and it's $3. So I don't really mind recommending it to you, even if you end up not liking it, because I'm sure everybody, no matter what age you are watching this, has at least $3, even if it's all in change, to go and try this. So highly recommend these two items. This is more expensive and not completely necessary, but this is three bucks and I think completely necessary for everybody. So these are my bath time favorites right now. Also, people have been recommending a favorites video from me. I don't really have too many favorites of mine, so I'm thinking I'll just kind of tell you guys favorites as we go along. So here are two of them for right now. With that being said, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, follow us on Instagram, DM us, you know the drill. I have a Snapchat, it's Girl Gang YT. Amanda has a Snapchat, it's Amanda Louise YT. Follow us on both because we love interacting with you guys so, so much. We love you so much and we will see you in Monday's vlog. You get to see what our weekend is. Probably not that interesting. Okay, love you, bye.